Hey Dragon Slayers! Today's video is about how fasting slows aging, part two. Don't forget to like and subscribe because it really helps the channel out. Let's get started. So conversely, when mTOR is dormant, when it's not being triggered by increased insulin levels or amino acid levels from ingested food, autophagy is promoted. As the body senses the temporary absence of nutrients, it must prioritize which cellular parts to keep. The oldest and most worn out cellular parts get discarded and amino acids from the broken down cell parts are delivered to the liver, which uses them to create glucose during new gluconeogenesis. They may also be incorporated into new proteins. It's important to note that the dormancy of mTOR is only related to short-term nutrient availability and not the presence of stored energy, such as liver glycogen or body fat. Whether the body has stored energy is irrelevant for mTOR and therefore for autophagy. This is why the strongest stimulus to autophagy currently known is fasting and why fasting alone Unique among diets stimulates autophagy. Simple caloric restriction or dieting isn't enough. By eating constantly from the time we wake up to the time we sleep, we prevent the activation of autophagy's cleansing pathways. Simply put, fasting cleanses the body of unhealthy or unnecessary cellular debris. This is the reason longer fasts were often called cleanses or detoxifications. At the same time, fasting also stimulates growth hormone, which signals the production of some new snazzy cell parts, giving our bodies a complete renovation. Since it triggers both the breakdown of old cellular parts uh, and the creation of new ones, fasting may be considered one of the most potent anti-aging methods in existence. Autophagy also plays an important role in the prevention of Alzheimer's disease. Alzheimer's is characterized by the abnormal accumulation of uh, amyloid beta proteins in the brain. This is believed that those are accumulated, accumulations eventually destroy the synaptic connections in the memory and cognition areas. Normally, clumps of uh, alpha beta proteins are removed by autophagy. The brain cells that activate <clears throat> that activates the autophagy in your body uh, the cells they act like an internal garbage truck and engulfs those bad proteins targeted for removal and excretes it so it can be removed by the blood and recycled into other proteins or turned into glucose depending upon the body's needs but in alzheimer's disease autophagy is impaired and the proteins remain inside the brain cell where they eventually build up and will result in the clinical symptoms of Alzheimer's disease. Cancer is yet another disease that may be a result of disordered autophagy. We're learning that mTOR plays a role in cancer biology and mTOR inhibit inhibitors have been approved by the Food and Drug Administration for the treatment of various cancers. Fasting's role in the inhibiting of mTOR, thereby stimulating autophagy, provides an interesting opportunity to prevent cancer's development. Indeed, some leading scientists, such as Dr. Thomas Seyfried, a professor of biology at Boston College, have proposed a yearly seven-day water-only fast for this very reason. So that's what I've got for you guys today. Don't forget to like and subscribe, because it really helps the channel out. And remember, guys, that together, you and I will slay the dreaded diabetes dragon.